Have you ever heard the term slugging and wondered what the heck are they talking about? Well, it's gotta be a baseball term, right? If you live around the Northern Virginia area, you know slugging is not related to baseball. In fact, it's a way of carpooling. I know, crazy, right? Today, we're gonna talk about the unique way that many people carpool from the Stafford, Fredericksburg, Woodbridge area to Northern Virginia, DC, Pentagon. And it's called slugging. And today, I'm gonna spill the tea on all the rules and how you do it. Hi, I'm Ginger Walker, the team lead of Give Back Team of Coldwell Banker Lee, and welcome to another episode Episode of Give, Work, Play, where we talk about everything living and giving in Northern Virginia. Slugging is a term to describe a unique way of carpooling in the Northern Virginia, D.C. area. And it is where strangers, yes, total strangers will get into each other's car. I know. It's kind of like picking up a kid and carpooling to the school and you don't know the kid or the mom or the rules for that matter. And let me tell you, when I first moved to Northern Virginia, I came from the New York City environment. When someone told me to get into someone else's car, I thought they were crazy. But it's super normal here and it's a great way to commute. And the cool thing is, not only is it a unique way of commuting, opposite of what mama told you probably when you were growing up, don't get into a car with a stranger, but it's free. It's totally free. And the neat thing is, it's probably a faster option than catching the bus, catching the train, or catching the metro. So, this is a great option for you to consider. And let me explain a little bit more why. So no one knows exactly when slugging started in Northern Virginia, but from doing a little bit of research, it seems to have started somewhere about 1975. So it's pretty common in the area. And a fun fact is that DC, Northern Virginia area is not the only place that slugging happens. It also happens in San Francisco and in Houston. See, we're not the only crazy people around here. So most people pick up slugs, that's what you're called, a slug, as a way to get extra riders in the car so that they can hit the hot lanes. And the hot lanes are called the high occupancy travel lanes. They're a lot like HOV lanes here in Northern Virginia. However, the lane only goes north or south, not north and south at the same time. So it depends on the time of day. And if you have three or more riders, and that includes the driver, you can actually drive in the HOV, HOT lane, for free. So this helps you bypass sitting in all that rush hour traffic that someone with only one person in the car or two will be sitting in. So remember, no money's exchanged when you slug and it's beneficial to both the driver and the slug. In the morning, there are about 20 different slug lines in different locations around Northern Virginia. The largest and most popular slug lines actually will have several individual lines. Believe me when I tell you, I know this all sounds a little bit crazy, but it's actually pretty systematic in its approach. And these individual lines, you form based on the destination to where you wanna go. So it's kind of like a taxi line or kind of like calling an Uber, but not really. You actually just get into the line, like if you're going to the Pentagon from Stafford, there's actually a line, maybe two, just to the Pentagon. So you know you're hopping in the right car. Lines may form from such destinations as like the White House or the Pentagon or the Navy Yard or 14th and Newark. And yes, you can slug from south to north in the morning and from north to south in the afternoon. At this point, you're probably thinking, Ginger, how does all of this work? It's really easy. The slug line started about 4.30 in the morning and they go until about 7 a.m. So what do you need to do? You need to get yourself up in the morning, have your breakfast, brush your teeth, get your clothes on, get in your car and drive over to the slug lot. Park your car and then get in the line. And if you're not sure which line, check the car because a lot of times they're gonna flash a sign up for where their final destination is that morning. Jump in the car and go. It's that easy. And even sometimes if you're not sure which car to jump into and they don't have the sign, they're gonna yell out the window and say, Navy Yard, Pentagon, wherever it is that they're going. And they'll yell a couple times until at least they have two people that have jumped in the car. So they have three in total. Usually it's three to four people in a car. They don't cram each other. You don't have to worry about like being a sergeant it's usually a pretty comfortable ride and the minimum requirement is three. So there are a few rules to slugging and usually they're set by the driver. So when you hop in the car, the radio might be on and it might be on pretty low. Do not ask the driver to change the radio station. And a few other rules, well, they're really, like I said, set by the driver. So if the driver says it's okay to have small talk, then it's okay to talk. But other than that, it's usually a pretty quiet ride. No cell phone answering, 
no eating and no smoking in the car either. And one of the nice things is that they never will leave a woman standing alone in the line. So if you are leaving in the morning and there's only one person left in line, that last driver won't leave until she's in another vehicle safely on her way. And the same thing with coming home at night. So no female is left standing alone. It's a safety thing. It is an unwritten rule, but it is something just really nice to know if you are a female driving in the slug lot or being a passenger in the slug lot, in fact. And just a few other things to remember is it's completely free. So there's no exchange of money, no tokens. The only thing that's required is a thank you. Also, there's no need to give directions or say, hey, could you drop me here or could you drop me there? Because the destinations are actually known. So let me give you an example. If the destination is Roslyn, it means the metro station in Roslyn, not anywhere else along the way. So pre-COVID, Thousands of people would slug in a given day. But when COVID happened, obviously that was not recommended. Rumor has it that people are still slugging today. But with so many people working from home, the numbers are not the same as they were back in 2019. So a lot of people are actually taking the option of going to Facebook message boards to see who's commuting, what time they're going, and what their final destination is so that they can plan their commute a little bit easier. So I hope this video gave you some insight into what slugging is. And yes, it is a real term and it is a real thing and a great option for commuting. As promised at the beginning of this video, I'm going to drop a link right below for you to find where all the slugging lots actually are. Or just go to givebackteam.com slash slugging. So if you like this video and you want more videos focused on the Northern Virginia, Stafford, Fredericksburg area, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And if you have any advice for those who've never slugged, drop a comment below so that you can let them know it's actually okay to jump in someone else's car. I'm Ginger Walker, the team lead of Give Back Team of Coldwell Banker Elite. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. See you next time.